Hi. Hi. I had a lot of trouble measuring the uh, spoke lengths for my straight pull set of hubs uh, wheels that I just built. So um, I will explain why. Now, if you look at a normal hub that we've got here, you can see that um, obviously when you take the when you put the measurements in, it's it's measuring from the the very external holes um, but when you've got a straight pull it, uh, what I found was I couldn't find a spoke calculator that worked out the lengths properly I just simply couldn't seem to get um, the calculations and the first time I used it and I double checked it against the um, DT Swiss straight pull calculator and, and quite a few others and I checked them and ordered them and they were wrong so what I did was this now what I did was I built this jig and simply it's quite simple is that the hub fits on there the rim fits on these three wheels this top, top one's adjustable so I sit, fit my rim in there, and I took this off an existing wheel, which I knew was obviously built, centered and everything. And then I physically measured um, the spoke lengths to the rim. So I'll see if I can put it on and show you. Okay, well it doesn't quite go on because everything's up tight, but... I had it all loose and then of course it was easy enough to come off. So basically by taking this you can see that because your spokes, your um, your flanges are round on the opposite side, I mean this is what happens on a normal hub too, but I was able to physically measure each spoke and I went, I left the hub in its position, I left the rim in its position, and I simply went round and measured without moving anything each individual spoke wrote it down and then I just took an average um, and then by doing this I was able to just take the average and calculate what the spoke length was I took off two mil just to cover myself and the build basically has brought the spokes to perfect length so probably I could have taken off a little bit more, but I'm very happy because it was able to, I was able to get the right spoke lengths just by using a physical calculation, just by measuring tape. No, uh, no uh, formula that I could find seemed to work. So anyway, I hope that's helpful.